Hi everyone, and welcome to installing Windows 10 on the Steam Deck. If you haven't already, check out my EMMC to NVMe upgrade video, linked below. If you are upgrading or replacing your internal drive for the first time, then you might find this helpful. First, you will need at least an 8GB bootable USB of Windows 10, using the Windows Media Creation Tool. Or if you already have your own Windows image, then Rufus will do the job just fine. Both are linked in the description below, alongside all the equipment and files we'll be using. Take your USB-C connector and plug in the bootable USB with Windows 10, and connect the USB-C adapter to the deck. To access the boot menu, we want to hold volume down and press the power button once. You'll hear a chime and the Steam Deck logo will appear briefly, followed by the boot menu. Here we want to simply press A on the option that says EFI USB device. Now the deck will load Windows 10 from the bootable USB. Here you want to rotate the deck like so and use the touch screen alongside a USB keyboard for your username and password. We're going to press next and install now. Select I don't have a product key, Windows 10 Pro and next. Accept the terms checkbox and press next. Make sure to select install Windows only. And now on this screen we will see the drive that I replaced in my earlier video and once highlighted we will click new apply the size for the whole disk and hit OK. The selections may appear like this and all we need to do from here is as long as the biggest partition is selected we can go ahead and click next. Here the bootable USB will install Windows to the selected partition and the installation should only last about 5 minutes. After the installation restarts the Steam Deck, we want to confirm these selections and to speed things up we want to select I don't have internet and continue with limited setup. Now we want to get our USB keyboard and type in our username for this part. If you haven't already, you can take the bootable USB out of the USB-C connector. Once you've typed your username, go ahead and press next. For the next step, try to follow my selections for the Microsoft choices, as all of these we don't need on our system. After the Cortana choice, your deck should reboot and finish the final stage of install.
Now we have Windows 10 installed and booted to the desktop. The first thing we want to do is change the orientation from portrait to landscape. You can use the right touchpad on the Steam Deck with R2 as left click and L2 as right click, but it's a little difficult in portrait. So using either the touch screen, long press on the desktop or with USB mouse, right click and choose display settings. Scroll down to display orientation and choose landscape, which will put the display correctly for us to start using handheld. With the orientation fixed and your deck the right way round, you will need another USB stick for the Steam Deck Windows drivers, or you can copy them into a new folder on the bootable USB just fine if you don't have another. The drivers included in the description below are from Valve directly and include the graphics, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and SD card drivers. Once you've made sure to extract the zip files they came in, we can go ahead and install them from their respective folders. Once all the drivers on your deck are installed, we want to restart the device and start to download all your launchers like Steam etc. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any questions and I'll see you later.